Hey guys, my name is Jordan. I'm a freelance filmmaker and video editor. Premiere, it's amazing. It's great, but it's so big and there's so many things that you can do in it that sometimes you can realize that you've been doing things wrong for a really, really long time. So for the third time, I'm here to share with you guys yet another five things I wish I knew starting out in Premiere Pro. Here we go. Number one, adjustment layers. Have you ever wanted to make a change to a clip and then realized, hey, I need to make that same change to all these clips. So you go one by one, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy. Well, wouldn't you feel kind of dumb if you realized that after all that, you only had to make that change once? I did. Add a new adjustment layer and all the clips below it will have those changes made to them too. Number two, locking layers. When you edit, there's like a million different things that you're gonna move around and organize and switch back and forth and move this way and that way and left and right. But there's also a bunch of things that you're just gonna wanna stay exactly where they are. Things like aspect ratios and time codes. I don't know, freaking adjustment layers? It'd be really great if you can keep those, you know, in one place, unmovable, locked. Well, hey, guess what? You can lock layers to keep them from moving around. Click on this little locking icon and boom, none of those clips are going anywhere. And there's a similar function for muting layers, so if you don't wanna hear something, you don't have to. Number three, shift blade. One of the most basic tools in Premiere is the blade tool. I use it every freaking day. Hit B to pull it up and wherever you click, it'll slice that clip in half, like a digital samurai or something. But there's so many times that I've needed to make a cut to every layer at that one point. And it can be really frustrating to have to cut seven different clips at the exact same point. It'd be really useful if you could make just this big cut right down the middle. You can do that. Hold shift while you have the blade tool active and it won't just cut one clip, you'll cut the entire timeline. Number four, reserve RAM. This one might make you legitimately mad, like I was when I found out about it. There's a bunch of different bottleneck possibilities that can cause your editing to slow down. It could be a slow hard drive, it could be a cheap graphics card, it could be a processor with not enough cores, or RAM. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM in this machine, and wouldn't it suck if you told Premiere, nah, don't use all of them. Well, unless you've already done this, your computer might not be using all the RAM that's available to it. Go edit, preferences, memory, and where it says RAM reserved for other applications, drop it down as low as it goes. This totally maximizes the amount of RAM you have available for Premiere to use. But there's an important distinction here. It doesn't make it available for only Premiere and nothing else. It just tells the computer that this amount is available for Premiere to use. It's like it gets first dibs on it. So if Premiere doesn't need to use it, it's not gonna be wasted. And finally, number five, label colors. Organization, I'm not the best at it. Being able to look at your timeline and in a split second, knowing a bunch of information about a clip is really essential. And one of the easiest ways to give yourself visual clues about your footage is to give it a label color. Go to edit, preferences, labels, and you can choose any color and any name that you want. When you're working in your project manager, you can highlight all the clips that you want to group together and give them a label color. You can do whatever you want. You can break it up chronologically. If you're doing a wedding video, you can separate the walking down the aisle from the vows, from the kiss, from the reception. Or if you're making a short film, you can differently label camera A, camera B, even placeholder footage. Or maybe you just always wanted to go for that patriotic Canadian red and white theme to show how happy you are that Trump isn't ruling your country. So there it is guys, this is the third round of things that I wish I knew starting out in Premiere Pro. I hope you found them at least somewhat helpful. This is a video that I kind of keep going back to again and again, so we'll see how many more I end up doing, but this is fun for me. So if you guys liked it too, consider giving a like and maybe even subscribing, and if you didn't, leave a comment. Tell me what you didn't like and tell me how you think I could do things differently. A big part of these videos is just being willing to learn and grow and never thinking that I know more than I do. Thanks guys, and I hope to see you next time.